Bahasa Inggris Pariwisata English for Tourism Pelajaran ke-14 Pemandu Wisata Lesson 14 The Tour Guide Hello, saya Yuni Tampi. Sebelum kita mulai dengan pelajaran ke-14, mari kita dengarkan kembali percakapan dari pelajaran yang lalu. Miss White, Mr. Weber, how can I help you this afternoon? Hi, Leo. We're after a tour guide. Yes, Leo. We want to make the most of our last day. Can you recommend a good tour guide? I can recommend five-star tours. They're very popular. We don't want a group, though, Leo. We want a private tour guide. Well, there's someone I know of. He's the best in the business. You'll need him tomorrow? Yes. I'll see if he's available. Excuse me for just a minute. You're in luck. He is available tomorrow. Excellent. When can we speak with him? He can meet you today if you like. Fine. What time? Three o'clock. He said he can meet you here in the lobby. What's his name, Leo? Mr. Le. Thanks, Leo. My pleasure. Sekarang mari kita mulai pelajaran ke-14. Dalam pelajaran ini, Anda akan belajar cara formal maupun tidak formal untuk memperkenalkan diri beberapa nama pekerjaan di bidang perhotelan, dan bagaimana meyakinkan tamu. Mona dan Jack memasuki lobi di mana pemandu wisata mereka sedang menunggu. Good afternoon. Hi, Leo. Why are you wearing a different uniform? And where's Mr. Lay? Let me introduce myself. I am Mr. Lair, your tour guide. Leo, your tour guide? But you are the hotel receptionist. I also work for Five Star Tours. I don't understand. Please, let me explain. I'm saving up to study hotel management in Australia. So I work for Five Star Tours in my spare time. Sekarang, mari kita dengarkan lagi percakapan itu dengan terjemahannya. Good afternoon. Selamat siang. Hi, Leo. Why are you wearing a different uniform? And where's Mr. Lay? Hi, Leo. Mengapa Anda mengenakan seragam yang lain? Dan mana Mr. Lee? Let me introduce myself. I am Mr. Lair, your tour guide. Kenalkan, saya Mr. Lee, pemandu wisata Anda. Leo, your tour guide? Leo, Anda seorang pemandu wisata? But you are the hotel receptionist. Lo, Anda kan resepsionis hotel. I also work for Five Star Tours. Saya juga bekerja untuk Biro Perjalanan Five Star Tours. I don't understand. Saya kok bingung. Please let me explain. Begini, saya jelaskan. I'm saving up to study hotel management in Australia. Saya sedang menabung untuk belajar manajemen perhotelan di Australia. So, I work for Five Star Tours in my spare time. Jadi, saya bekerja untuk Five Star Tours sebagai sambilan. Coba dengarkan bagaimana Leo memperkenalkan diri. Let me introduce myself. I am Mr. Lair, your tour guide. Kenalkan, saya Mr. Lee. Saya pemandu wisata Anda. Let me introduce myself adalah cara yang agak formal untuk memperkenalkan diri. Cara yang lebih sederhana, misalnya, I'm Liu, your tour guide. Coba dengarkan dan ulangi. Let me introduce myself. I'm Leo, your tour guide. I'm Joe, your driver. I'm Emma, the cashier. I'm Uni, your interpreter. 
Sekarang, coba dengarkan kembali percakapan tadi. Anda akan diberi waktu untuk mengulang setiap kalimat Liu. Good afternoon. Hi, Leo. Why are you wearing a different uniform? And where's Mr. Lei? Let me introduce myself. I am Mr. Lei. Your tour guide. Leo, you're a tour guide? But you're the hotel receptionist. I also work for Five Star Tours. I don't understand. Please let me explain. I'm saving up to study hotel management in Australia. So I work for Five Star Tours in my spare time. Anda sedang mendengarkan Bahasa Inggris Pariwisata, pelajaran ke-14, Pemandu Wisata. Lesson 14, The Tour Guide. Sekarang mari kita dengarkan bagian terakhir percakapan. Leo menjelaskan tentang keahliannya yang lain. I'm still not sure about this. Let me assure you, Miss White. I have a tourism qualification, and I've been doing this job for seven years. But... I know all the best tours in the city. I'm sure you do, Leo. We'd love you to be our tour guide. Wouldn't we, Mona? I suppose so. Thank you, Miss White Mr. Weber. Call me Jack. Thank you, Jack. Now, if you just follow me to the lounge, I have some brochures to show you. Coba dengarkan lagi percakapan itu dengan terjemahannya. I'm still not sure about this. Saya masih belum yakin. Let me assure you, Miss White. I have a tourism qualification and I've been doing this job for seven years. Percayalah, Miss White. Saya mempunyai pendidikan pariwisata dan saya sudah berpengalaman dengan pekerjaan ini selama tujuh tahun. But... Tetapi, I know all the best tours in the city. Saya tahu tempat-tempat wisata terbaik di kota ini. I'm sure you do, Leo. We'd love you to be our tour guide, wouldn't we, Mona? Saya percaya, Leo. Kami ingin anda menjadi pemandu wisata kami. Ya kan, Mona? I suppose so. Boleh. Thank you, Miss White, Mr. Weber. Terima kasih, Miss White, Mr. Weber. Call me Jack. Panggil saya Jack. Thank you, Jack. Terima kasih, Jack. Now, if you just follow me to the lounge, I have some brochures to show you. Mari ikut saya ke lounge, tempat duduk-duduk di sana. Ada beberapa brosur yang ingin saya tunjukkan. Coba dengarkan bagaimana Leo meyakinkan Mona. Let me assure you, Miss White. Percayalah, Miss White. I have a tourism qualification. Saya mempunyai pendidikan pariwisata. And I've been doing this job for seven years. Dan saya sudah berpengalaman melakukan pekerjaan ini selama tujuh tahun. Let me assure you. Adalah ungkapan yang digunakan pada waktu mencoba meyakinkan seseorang. Tentu saja tidak digunakan sendirian, tetapi harus diikuti dengan penjelasan. Coba dengarkan contoh-contoh berikut ini. Pertama dalam bahasa Indonesia, kemudian ulangi bahasa Inggrisnya. Percayalah, ikannya segar hari ini. Let me assure you, the fish is fresh today. Percayalah, polisi sudah dipanggil. Let me assure you, the police have been called. Coba dengarkan. Now, if you just follow me to the lounge. Sekarang, mari ikut saya ke lounge. 
If you'll just follow me. Dalam pelajaran ke-12, karyawan toko menggunakan ungkapan ini ketika mengajak Mona ke kasir. Di sini, Leo menggunakannya untuk mengajak Jack dan Mona ke lounge. Mari kita berlatih lagi. Coba dengarkan dan ulangi. If you'll just follow me. If you'll just follow me to the lounge. If you'll just follow me to the cashier. Sekarang mari kita dengarkan lagi bagian terakhir percakapan. Anda akan diberi waktu untuk mengulang setiap kalimat Leo. I'm still not sure about this. Let me assure you, Miss White. I have a tourism qualification and I've been doing this job for seven years. But... I know all the best tours in the city. I'm sure you do, Leo. We'd love you to be our tour guide. Wouldn't we, Mona? I suppose so. Thank you, Miss White and Mr. Weber. Call me Jack. Thank you, Jack. Now, if you just follow me to the lounge, I have some brochures to show you. Sekarang, mari kita dengarkan seluruh percakapan pemandu wisata dari pelajaran ke-13 dan 14. Miss White, Mr. Weber, how can I help you this afternoon? Hi, Leo. We're after a tour guide. Yes, Leo. We want to make the most of our last day. Can you recommend a good tour guide? I can recommend five-star tours. They're very popular. We don't want a group, though, Leo. We want a private tour guide. Well, there's someone I know of. He's the best in the business. You'll need him tomorrow? Yes. I'll see if he's available. Excuse me for just a minute. You're in luck. He is available tomorrow. Excellent. When can we speak with him? He can meet you today, if you like. Fine. What time? Three o'clock. He said he can meet you here in the lobby. What's his name, Leo? Mr. Lair. Thanks, Leo. My pleasure. Good afternoon. Hi, Leo. Why are you wearing a different uniform? And where's Mr. Lay? Let me introduce myself. I am Mr. Lay. Your tour guide. Leo, you're a tour guide? But you're the hotel receptionist. I also work for Five Star Tours. I don't understand. Please let me explain. I'm saving up to study hotel management in Australia. So I work for Five Star Tours in my spare time. I'm still not sure about this. Let me assure you, Miss White. I have a tourism qualification and I've been doing this job for seven years. But... I know all the best tours in the city. I'm sure you do, Leo. We'd love you to be our tour guide. Wouldn't we, Mona? I suppose so. Thank you, Miss White and Mr. Weber. Call me Jack. Thank you, Jack. Now, if you just follow me to the lounge, I have some brochures to show you. Berikut latihan untuk Anda pelajari dan praktekkan agar Anda dapat mengingatnya sampai kita bertemu kembali pada pelajaran berikutnya. Let me, let me, let me introduce myself. I'm Leo. I'm Leo. I'm Leo, your receptionist. Let me, let me, let me introduce myself. I'm Leo. I'm Leo. I'm Leo, your receptionist.
Bahasa Inggris Pariwisata disusun oleh Adult Multicultural Education Services, lembaga pengajaran bahasa terbesar di Australia. Ikuti pelajaran berikutnya, pelajaran ke-15, membicarakan perjalanan wisata. Yeah.